scaled the summit as an amateur with the Olympic gold medal. Can he repeat the trick as a professional? And he's up against Dennis Baktov, who once held this title, the WBC International Heavyweight title, back in 2001. That was his ninth professional fight. And Dennis, for Anthony tonight, this is his ninth professional fight. Physically just so imposing. 16 stone 12 on the scales yesterday, Jim. And Baktov doing a nice little job of just slipping and missing those long jabs. Baktov tends to stick around, I and mean, he's never been got out of there inside before four rounds. And he's only failed to go the distance once since 2005. That was against Manuel Shah, and that was on a hand injury as well. So he knows how to look after himself, and that's what Joshua needs. He needs some rounds. He needs an opponent who can make him miss. Yeah, eventually he's going to need some competitive rounds. At the moment, uh, Baktov doesn't know how to get close. Yeah, this could be big trouble for Baktov already. As Joshua's catching him early, the crowd's caught fire as well. And Baktov knows he's in a fight, he's shaken up, Jim. The legs don't look good. Landed a right hand there, Baktov. A little shake of the head as if to say, yeah, I'm all right. And Joshua smiles right back at him. Joshua's quickest win, 83 seconds. Back at Wembley Stadium against Matt Legg. But he's caught and hurt this fella already. Well, I mean, you have to compare Josh's performance so far with the recent performances against Baktov, and this is terrific. You know, he's not moving into punch, you know, close enough to get countered. He's getting these punches on without a the, eye, the left, eye. The left eye. Cut there as well. I mean, Baktov is an experienced guy, and he was trying to find a way to get close to Joshua. And while he was thinking about that, you know, he gets thumped with a jab, then the big right hand, and Joshua is picking the punches beautifully at the moment. Well, he made that, he made him miss with that first jab, didn't he, Baktov? I thought, oh, we've got someone who's going to be a bit clever and cute here. And then once Joshua tagged him, you could see he was in trouble. Missing there, Joshua, and then Baktov tries to land something himself, can't get close. All the time. That definitely a special talent in the heavyweight division. Oh, oh, look at that right hand as well. He loved it. Back top Dins. He's taken it over. Joshua smiling again. Sharp, nasty little short inside left hand there as well. Back top with another left hand. Caught. And Joshua grinning from ear to ear as he's tagging a very experienced and capable opponent here in Dennis Back top. And full credit to Baktov, these are the punches that have finished the eighth opponents already, he's still in there, can't make any impression whatsoever, but he's taken his, his medicine, so he's proved his toughness getting through that round, that was a huge round for Joshua. And an absolute disastrous round for Baktov. Yep, I mean, he was actually smiling halfway through the round. He would land a big shot. He would see the acknowledgement from Baktov and he would smile back. Not getting close enough for Baktov to be able to do anything. And while Baktov was thinking about the little counter, and out comes the tongue, they both knew that was a beauty. That was a terrific round. That's as good a round as I've seen from Joshua. That really was impressive. Corner, 10 seconds. Second down, round two. That first round was about as competitive as a bullfight. Everything but the red cape for Anthony Joshua in there at the moment. Round two then. Joshua has never been past three. Backtop has never been stopped inside four. It's scoring judges. I don't think we'll be needing him. Well, you know, he's not just thinking about power, Joshua, he's thinking about his skills as well. He doesn't want to take him on his yet. Perfect right hand. This guy's experienced, and that's what's keeping him in there. And backed off, really giving it a go, trying to tag him back. But again, just too sharp and too powerful from Joshua, who's slicing into ribbons here. And Ian John Lewis might have a job to do because Backtop is so brave, he's standing up to this, but he is getting pounded and Ian John Lewis did absolutely the right thing. 
because Bagtop oh he's let it go on well I thought he was stopping it he should be and he will and he has if you hadn't seen him before and you wondered what the bus was about that is what the bus is about yep I mean that, uh, that is a ter that's as good a performance as we've ever seen from Anthony Joshua that was He's just wiped out a guy. Round until his 13th fight. If you want to make that comparison, he's ahead of Lennox Lewis at the moment.